Welcome to New York Giants Full Access. Okay, this first play here. Let's get into the film review. This first play here. This is going to be Daniel Jones. He's in pretty much a pistol formation. Let's get into it. And as you can see, play action. And gets out the pocket and makes a pretty good throw right here to Mr. Slayton. Now, what a lot of people always say is Daniel Jones doesn't look at down the field when he gets out the pocket. He's a one-read quarterback. When he gets out the pocket, he can't make plays outside the pocket. Well, looks like he got outside the pocket. He's on the run. Sees a guy breaking open. Makes the pass there. Easy peasy. Slayton takes a pretty good hit right there, but easy peasy. He can make plays out the pocket. I don't understand where you guys get that from, but okay. All right, second play here. As you can see, quick pass. Quick pass to get some yards. It's on a second down. Quick pass to get some yards there at the cager. All right, this is a third and seven. Now, as you can see, Wanda Robinson in motion. Play action, gets a little pressure. Sees the pressure, gets outside the pocket. And sees his man and makes the pass to Breida. Now, shout out to Tommy for Tommy because he says we need to get Breida in the pass game a little bit more. And I actually have to agree. Let's get Breida in the pass game a little bit more. Breida makes a good run. Linebacker doesn't go with him. Daniel Jones gets out the pocket, sees Breida. Makes a good throw and throws it where he can run, make a uh, make yak yardage, yards after catch. They say Daniel Jones because he can't throw passes where his receivers get yards after catch. That's another lie. Two passes outside the pocket, two passes to where the receiver can get runs after the catch. It's a lie. He can do it. All right. Want to start seeing us do this just a little bit more as well. You want to give Saquon Barkley a little bit of rest? Let's run some some quarterback option plays. Daniel Jones can do it with the best of them. Darius Slayton with the block right there. As you can see, he's getting some love from Feliciano. I believe that's Feliciano. Good blocks right there as well. Slayton with a block. Wanda Robinson with a good block. Lineman here. Tight end here. Another line. Uh, I think that's a lineman. Just, just good blocking, man. That was a good play. All right. Second and 18. Daniel Jones in a shotgun. Now, they say that he doesn't go through progressions fast, that he can't go through progressions. All right. Doesn't see anything over there. Now, he's looking to his left. Now, he's looking... Towards the middle of the field, sees his target, bang. Hey, that's can't get right. But they say Daniel Jones can't go through his progressions. I beg to differ. I beg to differ. He has time, he will go through his progressions. Look to his right. Doesn't like what he sees there. Everything's covered up. Comes back to his left. Doesn't like what he sees right there with Wondell Robinson. But that linebacker right there in the middle of the field, he's not going to be anywhere near this guy. So comes through his progressions and hits Kenny Galladay on that route. I'm telling you, end routes are the best route for Kenny Galladay. I'm going to tell you that now. End routes are the best routes for Kenny Galladay. Going to be honest with you, end routes are the best routes for Kenny Galladay. I know I said it continuously, but those are the best routes for Kenny Galladay. Let's see Kenny Galladay get some more end routes going forward because we're going to need them. We lost a lot of people in this last game. 
we're going to need Kenny Galladay to get some in routes to get those chains moving. I think you could use Kenny Galladay in that role and try to get him some back shoulder throws on some on some first and tens. Get him towards the red zone, see if we can let him win that jump battle in the red zone. We're going to have to open up this offense, folks. And this game right here with some of the throws Daniel Jones was making shows that we can open up this offense, but let's get back into the film review. I love those end routes by Kenny Galladay. He seems to get open on them. All right, this is a third and eight. Now, as you can see, we got two running backs in the backfield trying to account for the double uh, linebacker blitz here. If they do come in, they do come in. And one goes with the running back to the outside right here. Now, Dan Jones is looking. He's looking. He's looking. He gets outside the pocket. Now, this is not a biased film review. I want to see Daniel Jones make this, make this throw right here. You're going to have to throw it a little bit high to get it over. This, uh, it looks like that's Hutchison. Get a little high over Hutchison and drop that in the bucket probably right here. Throw that pass right there, Daniel Jones. A lot of quarterbacks miss, miss passes like this because they're not trusting themselves. Trust yourself and get that pass right here to Wondell Robinson. Unfortunately, Wondell Robinson tore his ACL in this game, but he was shining as well. But throw that ball right there. When you get out the pocket, you're looking. I don't know why he didn't trust it, but you have to trust yourself. You have to trust your talent. You got the talent to get it, get it there to him. I've seen you. Maybe he thought this guy can get up and deflect the pass. Who knows? But if you throw this ball high enough with a little bit of velocity, you get that ball right there in the bucket to Wondell Robinson right here. Get it to him. This is not a biased film review. We missed the play right there on third and eight. The drive could have kept going. Now, he did make a little move at, towards the end right there. You know, he put, he, put, he put that guy on skates right there. He put that guy on skates right here. But this third and eight right here, we could have converted it if he throws that ball to Wondell Robinson from the very beginning. Just throw it to him. Trust him. Wondell Robinson... Breaks off his route, which you want, and I'm telling you, just throw it, DJ. Throw it. I know you got the talent. I've seen you do it. Just throw it right there. Missed opportunity. Missed opportunity. Had a couple of chances to throw it to him. Forget that. Let's not make mistakes crap anymore. Now, I want to see them put the ball in Daniel Jones' hands through the rest of this season. Because if you want to get a fair evaluation of Daniel Jones going forward, you want to know that he's a guy, put the ball in his hands. Put the ball in his hands and see what he does. That right there, you have to hit that pass to Wondell Robinson. There's no excuse for that one. All right, right here on this play, I just want to show you the location that Daniel Jones puts this ball he puts this ball right on Slayton. That should be a catch. For the people to say that Daniel Jones just, just doesn't have the capability of putting a back shoulder throw on the receiver. Just proved you wrong again. You got to catch that, Slayton. I'm sorry. You got to catch that. That ball was perfectly placed. Only in a position where you can catch the ball. And to be honest with you. He almost could have caught that ball and kept running. But that was that was perfect perfect location right there, man. With pressure in his face. Perfect location. Drop. Alright, on this play here, just want to show you another play where he put some good location on the ball. Now you see Cager right here. Now, check down Charlie, as you call him. He would have threw this ball right here to Wondell Robinson, and he probably would have got tackled unless he could get past this guy right here. But he puts this ball in between two people and gets the first down to Cajun. You see what I'm saying? This guy has arm talent. He has all the talent that you need at quarterback. He does. He can do it. 
He can do it. Even in this loss, he proved that he can do it. Nice pass right there to Cajun for a first down. All right, as you can see right here, heavy set formation, play action. Cajun comes out. That's covered. Everything is covered. DJ is looking. He's looking. He's looking. Now throw it. Slayton, get the burners out there and just burn it to the sideline right here. Burn it to the sideline. Go full speed and get in his vision and let him throw it to you. DJ, you should have threw it right here to Slayton. But Slayton, just burn it. Stop looking at DJ. Stop looking at DJ. Stop looking at DJ and just burn it. Burn it towards the sideline and put your hand up, DJ. Stop looking at him. Look at that. Just burn it. You got the speed to burn it up. Just run out there and put your hand up and see if DJ can hit you. Now, right here, DJ is getting ready to run because he's seen Slayton slow dogging it. But hold it a little bit longer, DJ, and Slayton breaks wide open. What I don't understand is, is when, when these plays break down, you say Daniel Jones can't make plays when plays break down. He's not a creator. Well, creators outside the pocket have receivers that know the play is breaking down. And just burn it out there. Slayton, if you turn on the speed, you're right here. By the time Daniel Jones gets right here, he's going to throw it to you. Get out there. Get out there, man. That, that's, that's the things that I'm talking about in our offense with our receivers. Is this play all on Slayton? No. Is this play on all on Daniel Jones? No. It's a combination of things. It's a combination of things. If Darius Slayton just burns it to the sideline and waves his hand like, hey, DJ, I'm open. I'm open. DJ would throw it to him. I promise you DJ would have threw it to him right there. Should he still have time to take a chance to throw it to Slayton? Yes. I'm not blaming it all on Slayton. I'm not blaming it all on DJ. I'm blaming both parties. Receivers, when you see the play is breaking down and you see you have an option to get open, burn it. Get out there. Give DJ a reason to throw you the ball. And if you don't get the ball, now you got a reason to be mad. Now we got something on film to show. DJ, you missed this guy. And you can say DJ, he missed this guy because Slayton put in the effort to get wide open. Hit him. But you got to put in the effort on the receiver side as well. Burn it to the sidelines when you see stuff like that. Lord. Let's continue. All right, on this play here, third and 10. DJ and a shotgun. All right, they sent a four-man pressure. DJ's looking. Glowinski loses his battle immediately. Daniel Jones gets out the pocket. Normally, this would be a sack, but DJ gets out the pocket. Now, look at that throw there. That's off platform, over these guys' head, and hits Wondell Robinson right on the sidelines. Boom. You can't tell me this guy doesn't have talent. You can poo-poo that throw, whatever you want to do. You can poo-poo whatever you want to do. But when DJ's getting pressure in his face this year, a year ago, this is a sack. He folds up and he gets sacked. But what does he do? He breaks the pocket. He keeps his eyes down the field. Because he could have easily threw it to the check down right here. But guess what? He saw Wanda Robinson breaking open. Off platform. Where is he at? Off platform from the eight yard line. 
all the way to the 35 on the hashes that's a damn good throw that's a damn good throw bootleg oh just average quarterbacks they don't do this it's a damn good throw so all this stuff about DJ can't get out the pocket and make good throws, that's hogwash, man. He can't. Here we go. Empty backfield. Lions in four. He saw Wanda Robinson breaking, breaking open. Throws with anticipation. Boom. First down. And save Wanda Robinson from taking a wicked hit. DJ can't throw with anticipation. He's a one-read quarterback. He can't throw off platform. He can't make plays happen outside the pocket. I proved all those things wrong within a couple of minutes of this film review. Good clean pocket. Throws with anticipation. Bang. Right there and saved his receiver from taking a big hit. First down. All right, here's another third down, third and four. Lions send five, getting pressure in his face. Sees the route break open. Hit Slayton, there he goes, throwing it to where he can get run after the catch again. I thought he couldn't do that. I thought Daniel Jones couldn't do that. Nice route. I want to see Slayton on way more routes like this. I want to see Slayton on way more routes like this. That route right there is so effective for Slayton because of his speed. Because of his speed, people are always going to fall for that route right there. Nine times out of ten, they're going to fall for that route right there. Because of his speed. He throws it away. He get what? Yeah, yards after catch, right? DJ can't throw it to his receivers where they can get yards after the catch, correct? That's what was said. Good route concepts right there. Good blocking. Darius Slayton makes a play. On third down again. First and ten. Daniel Jones. Play action. Now right here. I don't know if he thought Slayton was going to break back to the outside. Which he should have. To get away from this guy. And maybe make a play on this guy going towards the outside with his speed. But miscommunication, incomplete pass. That's a miscommunication. I guess the fair thing is to always put it on DJ. So let's put that on DJ. Miscommunication right there. I guess Darius Slayton wanted to, I mean, Darius Slayton could have caught it and went that way. So, yeah, we'll put that on DJ. Miscommunication. I don't know if you thought... He was going to go to the outside. I don't know. But miscommunication. All right. Second and 11 from his old goal line. Play action. Lions. Got five people coming. Good protection. Good protection. Throws. There you go. You give Daniel Jones protection, he'll eat you alive every time. He'll eat you alive every time if he gets good protection. Now, the thing that I saw on this play, was a, it was a simple pass, yes. But the thing that I saw on this play, look at Slayton's route. Watch him look to the outside first. Makes this guy bite. And then goes into the inside. Give me more routes like this, Slayton. Bang. Give me more routes like that. If Slayton sells any route, with his speed factor, he's going to get open. He's going to get open. Sell my routes like this every time, Slayton. No matter what route you do, you sell your route, you're going to get open with your speed factor. Only reason why it wasn't more, because he was hell.
you sell your routes like that, Slayton, I promise you, you will be more than a number two receiver. Bang. Go to the inside. Almost made him fall. He had to grab. Don't get no call because we're the Giants. Daniel Jones seen it. Wait for him to break open. Big play. First down. Sell your route like that more often, Slayton. I promise you, you're going to be a problem. More than a problem you already are. All right, here we go. Another play. Daniel Jones looking. Didn't like what he see on the right. Looks to the left. There you go. Hits Wondell Robinson open. But I thought DJ was just a one-read quarterback. Daniel Jones can't go through his progressions quickly, correct? I say that's false. Looks to his right. Doesn't like what he sees from the get-go. And he was right. Looks to the middle. Doesn't like what he sees right there. Comes all the way back to his right. There we go. Let's move the chains. With nine yards. You can't tell me that this dude doesn't go through his progressions. That's a lie. It's an absolute false statement. This dude goes through his progressions well. One progression. Two progression. All the way back to the left side. Well, his right. You can't tell me that he didn't go through his progressions. Fairly quickly. Go to his left. Nope. Coming off that immediately. I don't want no part of that. Middle. Nope. Coming off that immediately. Bracketed. Bracketed. Covered. Covered. One re quarterback, that's a pick or an incompletion or a sack. If he if he can only go through one or two progressions, he's sacked because he only would have made it right here. He would have never seen Robinson. I'm just fine if the Giants decide to put the ball in his hands going forward with this season to see exactly what they got. Second and five. Daniel Jones looking. Already knows that this guy has to chase this running back out here. Look, he's already ready to throw. He already knows where he's going. Open. Bang. Let's start getting more routes like this, man. Hodgins, good route right here. Gets off the line of scrimmage. Cornerback lays off. First down. And you want to know another thing? That's a false statement that you guys said about this game? Because this is the second, this is getting deeper to the second half. Where's the prevent coverage? Where's the prevent coverage on the field that allowed Daniel Jones to throw all those yards? Where's the prevent? I'm going through these plays, and I haven't seen one prevent coverage out there. I've, I've seen that the Lions, they were trying to beat the hell out of us this game. Where's the prevent coverage? Somebody please explain to me where's the prevent coverage. We're going to keep going forward, but I want to see some prevent covers that allow Daniel Jones to get these passes off. Because is it me or I'm not seeing any prevent coverages, but okay. First to 10. Daniel Jones looking, looking. Go through his, through his progressions, gets outside the pocket. Gets outside the pocket looking. Got to throw it away. Nothing there. Great decision right there by Daniel Jones. He's looking. Now. Bang. That's a hard throw. Unless he settles down right here. Let's see if he kept running. Yeah, he kept running. And then when he saw this guy. 
get beat to the inside. He ran outside the pocket. Now, you would say, hey, launch it. But I will show you this. There was a guy right there waiting. So if you would have threw it to him right there, he steps in front of that and picks it. But this is what I'm telling you in zone coverage. This is what I'm telling you about good receivers in zone coverage. That receiver right here, he shuts down right here. He shuts down right here. He shuts down right here in the zone because that's the open window. Now, Pert got abused on, on the right tackle, but Daniel Jones be able to deliver this ball right here to you before he gets hit. Just settle down. Settle down. Oh, man. So many opportunities, man. Just settle down, man. All right, third and ten. Another third down. All right, Lions send a blitz. Giants pick it up fairly well in the beginning. He gets outside the pocket. Now, you would like Daniel Jones to be able to hit this throw. That's a tough throw. That's a tough throw, man. Not many quarterbacks in the league can hit that throw. Not many quarterbacks in the league can hit that throw. That's a tough throw. Off balance. You got to lead them. Maybe. Mm, as that dude starts to catch up to him too. Man, that's a tough throw. You would like Daniel Jones to be able to hit that throw, but that's a tough throw, man. But the thing right here is, everybody wants the deep ball, the deep ball, the deep ball. Hell. He was already decided to throw the deep ball here. But hell, if he holds on just a second and then throws it to him, that's a huge play. This is the guy we want Daniel Jones to throw it to. Don't try to be something you're not. Not too many quarterbacks can make this throw jumping and hit him on the stride in this area here. Mahomes, yes. Allen, yes. Maybe Justin Herbert. Joe Burrow doesn't make that throw. I've watched I watched plenty of film on those guys. There's only about two or three guys I would trust to make that throw. Rodgers, yes. About four or five quarterbacks. That's an extremely hard throw right there. For real. Wish he could have hit that, but damn. And I'm still trying to see where's the prevent coverage. Where's the prevent? Empty backfield. Daniel Jones. Quick pass right there. Drop. Enough said. Drop. Second and ten. All right. As you can see, nothing really open. He takes the quick check down right here. Let's get some yardage and... Let's live to see third down. All right, fourth and one after a damn freaking option play. I don't, man. Sometimes a play calling is crazy, but here's the other element Daniel Jones brings. Here's the other element Daniel Jones brings. Daniel Jones can be dynamic. I know you guys are going to say, oh, that wasn't nothing, Pat. He just made a run right there. But he brings that element to this team. He brings a dual threat element to the team. You can't take that away from him. He brings a dual element to this team, man. You cannot take that away from him. No matter how much you want to take it away from him, you can't take that away from him. And that can make this offense dynamic. It can't. 
it really could be honest and real be honest and real if we use Daniel Jones more in that element right there that dude can average like 40 to 50 yards a game with 250 yards a game if the ball was in his hands I truly believe that but we can move forward first down on fourth and one Daniel Jones keeps the chains moving Second, I still haven't seen that prevent coverage, but let's go. Second and four. Daniel Jones looking, looking. Richie James breaking open, hits him. Hey, he hit him in stride. I thought he couldn't do that. He hits him in stride. Richie James gets a lot of yardage. He hits him in stride. Saw that Richie James breaking open. Because leave it up to you guys, Daniel Jones is just inept. He can't do anything. He holds the team back. Looking, looking. You know what? I'll take this slant right. I mean, this drag route right here, Richie James. First down, first and 10. All right. Remember I said he brings that element to the team? You want to focus on a running back like that? Let Daniel Jones have the ball. Let him run. Let him run. He's a big boy. Let him, he can run. Tell him to get down a little bit more, but he can run. Second and one. All right, snaps the ball. Ball in DJ's hands. He's looking. Looking. Now, he steps up in a pocket. Could he have thrown it to Kenny Galladay right here? Maybe. But he was looking towards the middle of the field. Now, the thing here, I don't get. Because he makes a good play out of it. Probably should have hit Kenny Galladay from the get-go. But the thing that I don't get is why our receivers always give up. If you see Daniel Jones stepping up in a pocket like that, turn around, Kenny. Turn around and start running right here. Start running this way. And Daniel Jones, the line of scrimmage is the eight-yard line. You start running this way, maybe he's able to hit you. But no, you, you you just keep running. I don't understand it. And then you didn't even make the block. But Dan Jones, he makes a little something out of nothing, gets the first down, puts us in first and goal. First and goal from the three. Now that was just a simple handoff for a touchdown, but let's look at the play a little bit closely. You want to know why this was an easy touchdown? I told you, Daniel Jones brings that dual element. He holds the ball. Look at this guy here. He reacts late as hell. You want to know why? Because Daniel Jones is right here. He reacts late as hell. He reacts late as hell because he, he, he's trying to defend Daniel Jones as well. Daniel Jones pauses him for that second. Touchdown. Dual threat, man. And where the hell is this prevent coverage? Where is this prevent coverage? Where's the prevent? Where's the prevent? Daniel Jones pressure coming into his face. See Slayton open, drop. Enough said. <laughs> Second and ten. Daniel Jones, they only send four. Now he pulls it down right there. He was great to pull the trigger, but he pulls it down. Looks, tries to for a bigger play, nothing there. Now, I will say this. This is not a biased film review. I think Josh Allen now puts that ball over here 
towards the sideline and leads Richie James over here. Being honest with you, those are the type of plays that they make that Daniel Jones hasn't proven that he makes yet. Not going to sit here and at, say that, oh, that's impossible. No, that's a possible throw right here. You throw it over both their heads right here and lead him to the sidelines. Because this guy is worried about, I guess that's Kenny Galladay right there. Or that may be, no, that may be Hodgins. You throw that ball over both their heads because he has the arm talent to do it. Throw it over their heads, lead Richie James to the sideline. That's a good play. See, I look at the, the these film reviews as if, if I'm a coach. Daniel Jones is not without blame. He has plenty of blame to put on him as well. There's plenty of blame to put on the receivers. And there's plenty of blame to put on the play calling. Everybody has blame. But to sit here and act like this team can't do nothing with Daniel Jones at quarterback is an absolute false statement. But plays like this, where you can throw it over both these dudes' heads and drop it in the bucket right here on the sideline, yes, Josh Allen and people like that make this play. <coughs> Hell, even Kirk Cousins make, makes a plays like this a time or two because he trusts people like Jefferson and them that much. Maybe Daniel Jones needs to develop that trust, but that's Richie James. Maybe this is Robinson. He tries it because Robinson was on fire this game, but he came off of it. Comes off of it, doesn't like what he sees, gets outside the pocket, and then just has to throw it away. You would like to see Daniel Jones make that throw where I pointed you to earlier. When he looked over here, Prime quarterback, prime Josh Allen, prime Mahomes. They wait till that receiver gets to about right here, and then they throw that ball in the bucket right out here. You see what I'm saying? Or just release it to him right here. Well, he wasn't looking. He was looking in the middle of the field to see if he was going to break open. If so, fire it right here, Daniel Jones. Fire it right here. Unleash, man. Unleash. If you if you were gonna hit this guy here, fire that ball right here. Lead him right here with a good, uh, uh, not too low, but like right at his waist, and let him dive down and get that ball right there. Get the first down. Just fire it in there. Trust in your ability and fire it in there. But you had this pass right here, and you had that pass right here. And you had that pass right here. Either one of those guys. This is on Daniel Jones. All right, third and 15. Now, trips to his right. Lions in a double gap blitz. Daniel Jones gets out the pocket. Stands firm. Now. You guys say that he can't throw with anticipation. Normal quarterback throws his ball out here and maybe he gets a completion. Or he probably just throws it out of bounds. Daniel Jones sits strong in that pocket. Throws it with anticipation. Third and 15. First down. Now, where is the prevent coverage? I'm seeing blitzes. I'm seeing absolute blitzes. Where's the prevent covers to where you got all these 300 yards? Where's the prevent? Where's the prevent, folks? I'm seeing double A gap blitzes. I'm seeing man to man coverage. I'm seeing cover three. I'm seeing cover two shell. Where's the prevent coverage? Quan, so Quan Barkley did best as he could on that one linebacker. At least he got in front of him. Then he got in front of him. Actually, he did a good block there. Daniel Jones, instead of panicking and running all the way out here to the outside, he said, fuck it, we need the first down. I'm going to sit here and wait for Hodgins to break off his route because he sees that this guy is not going to be in position. Throws that ball on a dot. 
with two people on his face, first down. And then we all know what happened after that. Hodgins catches a, a drag route and he fumbles. Can I ask y'all where's the prevent coverage? Please tell me what a prevent coverage is. First down here, Daniel Jones looking, looking. Hey, take what you can get. That's all they gave you. But if it was a prevent coverage, you would have been wide open, right? Where's the prevent? Please explain to me where you saw prevent coverage. Because I don't see it. Second and seven. Where's the prevent coverage? You you don't have five people lining up a line of scrimmage and prevent coverage. Where's the prevent? Daniel Jones reads it. Now, man, thank goodness they called it because Slayton got absolutely mauled up there. <laughs> but look through his progressions. Slayton falls. That's one progression. Two progression. Thinks about breaking the pocket. Sees that. Nope. Got to pull it back down. Now nah, I throw it. I thought Dan Jones can't go through his progressions, even though it was an incomplete pass, but you got two receivers that got mauled. If he was a one-read quarterback with Slayton Falls, he just takes off. He would have took off right there if he's a one-read quarterback. But he doesn't. He goes through his progressions, and he comes all the way back to Richie James again. Penalty flag. But where's the prevent coverage? Where is it? All right, here we go. Dan Jones again. Where's the prevent, man? <laughs> I'm seeing exotic blitzes. I'm seeing man-to-man. -man. Where's the prevent? Okay, DJ. Throws. It's Richie James. Anticipation throw. Nice throw, DJ. Sees Richie James start breaking over. Throws the ball. Nice throw, DJ. Where's the prevent? Where's the prevent, man? DJ in the pocket. Nice pocket. Steps up. Steps up. Hitch. There you go. Bang. Another big play. All right. First and ten. All right, DJ. What you got for me? DJ steps up in the pocket. Andrew Thomas pushes him back. That was a nice step up. I thought DJ didn't know how to step up. I thought DJ had no pocket awareness. One of the rare times Andrew Thomas gets beat. Steps up in the pocket. Guess what? This would have been another first down, but good play by the defensive lineman to block the ball. Well, that was going to be another good gash play. I thought DJ had no pocket presence. I thought he didn't know how to step up in the pocket. I thought he couldn't get out the pocket and make plays. I thought he couldn't make anticipation throws. I thought he couldn't make back shoulder throws. Steps up in the pocket. Had him. Just a good play by the defensive line. He gets his hand up at the exact right time. Lucky bastard. All right, second and ten. Dan Jones looking. Pocket starts to break down. A little pressure. One even phase. Just threw it. I thought he couldn't throw back shoulder, folks. Thank you for making a play, Slayton. Thank you for making a play. And that's all you ask for out of, you, out of your receiver. Make a play for me, bro. bro. Sees the pressure coming in there. Now, Slayton has no separation at all. He has none. This is purely a throw to the back shoulder because he sees that this guy is not looking. Absolutely nasty. Absolutely nasty. And you mean to tell me this dude doesn't have enough talent? That was a nice throw. The second time he did it in the game. Both times to the guy that he trusts, Slayton. I bet you they've been telling him to do that. 
if Slayton is if the guys even throw a back shoulder to, to him, DJ, let him go make a play. There you go. Where is the prevent coverage? Where's the prevent? Please explain to me where the prevent coverage is. That was nice. I don't care what nobody. That was nice. Where's the pre? You know what? Put my face on here. Where's the prevent, folks? I was told that there was prevent coverage for the whole second half. And that's the reason why he got those yards. And I'm sitting here asking you, where's the prevent coverage? I'm seeing blitzes. I'm seeing A-gap blitzes. I'm seeing man-on-man. -man. I'm seeing cover three. I'm seeing cover two shell. I'm seeing cover two with man on one side. Where's the prevent? Hmm? First and ten. Diane Jones, five receiver set. Diane Jones gets out the pocket. Remember what I told you, bang. Remember I told you, those in routes for Kenny Galladay, that's his stick. That's what he needs to do. Look at him go through his progressions. Look at him go through his progressions. He looks to the left. He's a one-read quarterback. Looks to the left. Nah, I don't like that. This safety right here, even if he breaks free, if this safety has any type of talent, this is locked up. Locked up. Locked up. Goes to his right. Now, check down Charlie. You would have threw it right here. But you know what? Anticipation. Even though this guy's underneath, guess what? Daniel Jones fits it in there. Bang. Get it to that big body receiver. Way to go, can't get right. First and go at the nine. Daniel Jones looking. Easy peasy. Touchdown. And you can't say that, oh, you only ran a certain amount. No, that was the whole second half. Where was the prevent coverage in that whole second half? Where was it? So, I'll let you go through the whole situation where Dan Jones had uh, his best passing day of the season. 341 yards, 50 yards rushing and a touchdown, 341 yards passing and a touchdown. I took you through all those plays, and there was not one play where I saw prevent coverage. Not one. But it was prevent coverage. Anybody could have did that. Really? Hmm. Hmm. See, people want to bash me and say that I'm trying to call people stupid when I say you, you just don't watch film, bro. And it just proves it when you say things like that. Oh, they were in prevent coverage. That's why he did that. There was not one play where they were in prevent coverage. There's no way you can sit here and tell me that DJ is not talented as shit. He could be a dual threat quarterback. He makes good sound decisions. Yes, he threw two interceptions this game. I wish I could have shown him, but for some reason, all 22, they're not allowing me to show him. The one interception was a great play by Aiden Hutchinson. He didn't see him. And Aiden Hutchinson made a heck of a grab for a defensive lineman. And the second one it was a little bit overthrown to Cager, but he shouldn't have even been in that situation if you don't run the ball on third and six and get stopped for one yard.
I showed you where he made off balance throws deep. I showed you where he ran. He 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 stood in the pocket strong. I showed what he stepped up in the pocket. I showed that when he got out the pocket, he can make a couple of good throws. I've shown you where a couple of throws where he didn't make where he could have, where quarterbacks like Mahomes or Mahomes or Allen would have made that throw for sure. I showed you a couple of plays that he missed. It wasn't many of them. What out of all the plays were three? So you add that with the two interceptions, what that's five bad plays in a game? I did this film review on purpose just to see exactly if they were in prevent coverage the whole time. And then, you know, I would have stepped back and be like, you know what? Yeah, a lot of quarterbacks would have did that if they were running prevent coverage. Though. That was not one play with prevent coverage. The Lions were trying to whoop our ass this game. But everything that you say this guy can't th do, he can't throw back shoulder. I showed you twice in one game when he did it. Oh, he, when he gets out the pocket, he doesn't keep his head up. He just runs. That's bullshit. I just showed you what he does when he gets out the pocket. He's looking. Does he miss plays here or there? Yes, every quarterback does. I showed that you can make off-platform throws. I can show you, I just showed you throws with anticipation. And to be honest with you, I just showed you that I wouldn't mind them putting the ball in DJ's hands. I wouldn't mind them doing it. Because, for one, I trust him and I believe he can be pretty doggone good at doing it. And two, it's going to show me exactly what DJ's about. And when I tell you, if we had a receiver out there that was a legit number one, like all these other quarterbacks really have, you would have a serious problem on your hands. And I don't care what none of y'all say. Come step to me in this film room. Show me on film where you see DJ as a quarterback that can't step up in the pocket. DJ is only a quarterback that can throw out routes or drag routes. Come show me. Because when I watch the film, I see something totally different. But I'm the foolish one. I'm the dumb one. Come talk your talk in the film room with Big Pat Sports Talk. Come talk your talk, man. Come get in this film room with me. Let's talk some all 22. Let's talk some real shit. But that's all I have to say on this film review. I wanted to see for my damn self exactly what Daniel Jones did to get the 341 yards and the 50 yards rushing with the two touchdowns. And I have to say, I'm actually kind of impressed. That's why the Most High tells you to study to show yourself approved because I could easily just listen to you guys be like, yeah, he only did that because it was prevent coverage. But my mind tells me, Pat, go figure out if it was prevent coverage the whole time. Go find out if those statements are true. And it winds up, it's not true, man. It's not true at all. That kid can play, man. And whether you like him or not, the film shows it. That kid can play. DJ can play some ball, boy. Give him the opportunities. Give him the weapons. And give him the protection. And we'll have one of the better quarterbacks in the league. And I'm going to talk my talk no matter what you thought. That's what the film shows to me. A good line. 
and give him number one a, a number one receiver? Because that's not asking much. All the other guys got it and some. It helps out Saquon Barkley as well. But we'll see moving forward. And I want to see Daniel Jones. I want to see Daniel Jones throw the ball 30 times a game for the rest of the season. Because I want to see exactly what he does. But from right here, that boy played some ball in this game. And he had two mistakes. Yes, he did. And he missed a couple of passes. Yes, he did. But he played some ball, man. Take it how you want it. But this has been in the film room with Big Pass Sports Talk. New York Giants full access. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And make sure you talk your talk. Don't just follow people out here and just follow narratives. Research it for yourself. Find out exactly what you want to find out. And then base a opinion of what you found. Not off the opinion of others. You can easily say, oh, I looked at all 22 and somebody just posts a clip of his bad plays. But if you really want to talk that talk, get in the film room and figure out for yourself and see exactly what's going on out there in the, in the, in the field, man. That's all I ask, man. And maybe I sound so crazy because you guys don't do that. Because there's no way that you can look at this film and sit here and tell me that DJ can't be good. You're an absolute liar. And a clown. I said it. But thank you for tuning in. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. To the next episode, you know what it is, man. Oh, which way? Peace. This is a Big Blue Crew production.